You know, a lot of people think that Valentine's Day is only for couples, but if you ever had a crush when you were in second grade and who didn't, you know that Valentine's Day is for kids too, right, Mona? Absolutely, Oh, yes. my gosh. Well, she's got the best ideas, and Mona Moore with MomZone is back with some really fun family ideas. It's important to involve the kids. It absolutely is, and if you think about it, traditionally, Valentine's Day is about romance and chocolate and flowers, and that's all wonderful, but in essence, Valentine's Day is about showing love. your love and what, um, what's really important is to show kids how do you show that love and kindness to people that you care about. Right, exactly. And we thought February and Valentine's Day is a great time to do that. All right, let's get started. Well, the, what we'd like to show you first here, and we got all of these ideas from a great company called Once Upon a Family. They encourage traditions all year round. So they helped us come up with some great ideas. This right here is um, just little hearts, and what you do is you write little notes to anybody in the family, to mommy, to brother, to sister, about why you love them, why you care about them, why they're special. Oh, this is not about raising the allowance, right? This exactly. is about, okay, gotcha. Exactly. <laughs> and what you can do is you can collect these, and for Valentine's Day, you can actually string them together on just some nice sweet. red ribbon and decorate. Very sweet. Speaking of sweet, yes. this is adorable, and I love the advent of these new cupcake holders. Mm -hmm. Talk about this, I love that. Now, this is just cupcakes. You can uh, put uh, pink frosting on them for Valentine's Day. And then these are little notes. Again, you write little notes to the kids about why they're special, what makes them special, what, you know, especially being a part of the family, why do we love them, that kind of right. thing. And just to correct you, there's no such thing as just a cupcake, okay? <laughs> especially when you can't have them. Okay. That's right. This, it, this, is, this is one everybody's heart here. Oh. Love this idea. This is incredible. This one here is, um, it's a book of love stories. And what you do is you interview people that you love, grandma, aunts, uncles, and you write their love story on here. And this can be passed down from generation to generation. It's absolutely incredible. Very, very beautiful. So simple to do. Mm. Love the tree. <laughs> it's a blooming good idea, I might add. This, this is, is really just, cute. And this is so cute. This is for grandma. It's just a, plotted, a potted plant of roses. And all the kids, they write little stories about um, what they love about grandma and maybe some special times that they had together. And you just wrap them up and put them in little scrolls like this. It looks so cute. And this will be presented to grandma on Valentine's Day. What a sweet idea. You know, the trend, it's so amazing from what I'm hearing from everyone in mm -hmm. reading that it's the written note. It's yes. the you know, writing down your stories that really make the difference anymore. Everybody's so on email right now. It's so nice to get a handwritten note. I love it. So mm -hmm. you've got something for family, for grandma, for yourself. And then what do we, what do we have over here to end um, with? This is, again, this is just something to kind of um, put together a story of Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. So you can put little notes, you can put pictures of the kids and a little story about, you know, what do, what do we like to do for Valentine's Day? Save your traditions. And then if none of this works, a trip to Tahiti might be a, a nice go. idea. There exactly. you go. There you go. If you'd like more information about these projects, you can log on to momzone.org. Mona has some great ideas for you. Or you can call 480-917-0306. Thanks so much, Thank Mona. Thank you, Jan.